Carlos Osuida does a thread in response to Aaron C. Davis of the Washington Post. Aaron C. Davis tweets, Scarred by September 11th, George W. Bush put on place the national pandemic plan that was largely ignored 15 years later by President Trump. Insightful piece by Matt Mosk. Aaron C. Davis of the Washington Post is lying. That's like saying water is wet, but somebody has to debunk this seditious horse manure. Bush did not put on place the national pandemic plan. The public health system has pandemic plans that go into action automatically. From the article in the AP, Washington, quote, the public health system has a playbook to follow for pandemic preparation, regardless of who's president or whether specific instructions are coming from the White House. Those plans were put into place in anticipation of another flu pandemic, but are designed to work for any respiratory-borne disease. Back to the ABC article. Quote, to respond to a pandemic, we need medical personnel and adequate supplies of treatment, Bush said. In a pandemic, everything from syringes to hospital beds, respirator masks, and protective equipment would be in short supply, end quote. What the Washington Post won't tell you is that in the case of COVID-19, no amount of supplies is enough. The only thing that works is mitigation through social distancing. Bill Whittle explains, some of you don't like to watch long videos about life and, life and death issues, so here's the crux. The number of fevers in the U.S. is lower now than was predicted for the regular flu season. The orange line is what's happening now. The blue line is the predicted line. The video will be in the thread, the link in the description. Here's the video. Another thing that the seditious, lying, totally immoral Aaron C. Davis refuses to tell you is that this pandemic is causing the burnout of our medical staff regardless of the supplies available. We had a doctor shortage before Obamacare and Obamacare made it worse. Finally, we have to look at the advice Dr. Anthony Fauci and Dr. Deborah Burks gave Trump on January 21st. Fauci said this about the coronavirus. Quote, this is not a major threat for the people of the United States, and this is not something that the citizens of the United States right now should be worried about. End quote. Despite Fauci's assessment, Trump ordered the CDC and Homeland Security to begin screening travelers from China at major American airports. On January 26, 2020, Fauci said this about the coronavirus. Quote, the American people should not be worried or frightened by this. It's a very very low risk to the United States. It isn't something that the American public needs to worry about or be frightened about. Trump ignored Fauci again and put travel restrictions on China over the objections of the CDC and the World Health Organization. Twelve days later, WHO declared a pandemic. Note that ABC News and Aaron C. Davis completely ignore the fact that Barack Obama was president for eight years before Trump was sworn in. And this is quite chilling in the Aaron C. Davis Twitter profile. This son of a bitch is lying his ass off while piously maintaining that he's a truth teller. Marcus Tullius Cicero had his number. Quote, a nation can survive its fools and even the ambitious but it cannot survive treason from within. An enemy at the gates is less formidable, for he is known and carries his banner openly. But the traitor moves amongst those within the gate freely, his sly whispers rustling through all the alleys heard in the very halls of government itself. For the traitor appears not a traitor. He speaks in accents familiar to his victims, and he wears their face and their arguments. He appeals to the baseness that lies deep in the hearts of all men. He rots the soul of a nation. He works secretly and unknown in the night to undermine the pillars of the city. He infects the body politic so that it can no longer resist. A murderer is less to fear. The traitor is the plague. In time of plague, our true character is shown. If the American press were an arm of the Iranian Quds Force, what would they do differently from what they're doing now?